In this video, I will show how to install GPG tools on Mac OS X um, El Capitan. Uh, also, uh, it's version 10.11.1. And uh, an, an issue can be that you have before been running encryption desktop from Symantec and this will not start. Uh, so therefore you we have another um, option to use GPG tools. I start the browser write gpgtools.org and um, download the suite Install and I click install. And uh, now the program is installed. It asked me to generate a new key pair. I already have a, a key pair, so this I will not do. So I click cancel. Then I go to import, and I point to my my documents folder. PGP. I just start to write PGP where I have my keys from the other program, uh, Encryption Desktop. And here I choose, um, let's see, date modified, uh, yesterday, back up, I choose, I import my private keyring, which I used reason, recently, yesterday, open, and uh, there was only two keys imported, so something wrong. Choose import again, and say um, I import my pop ring, public key ring. And here you can see a lot of keys imported, and so this is my this is my public key ring. I can also see it on the keys here. And then I need to import my private key ring. Click import. And um, secret sec ring. Secret ring key ring importing. And yeah, it was imported. I can start here to write. There, there's this. My secret key ring, Esker Larsen. And some others I have. Close. So now the program is ready for. Um, uh, you can start a quick uh, quick start tutorial, or you can close this. So now you are up running with uh, GPG uh, tools. We can make. Um, a new. Uh, we just make a document and so and encrypt it. This is my text. And I save it to the desktop. We have it here. Now we have a file here. I right click the file. Services, open PGP. Um, encrypt file. Then it comes up which files I want to, um, uh, who I want to encrypt it. I choose a file and I choose my own key, this one, 
So now encrypt to a public key, Alex in this vault, public key, and my own private key. And um, I click OK. And then I have an encrypted file. If I want to encrypt the clipboard, let's say that I have a text here. I mark the text, right click, um, encrypt selection to new window. I choose the key and my own private key and I click OK and here I have the encrypted text which I then can mail or send on Skype or what I want to do with it. So that was the end of this small tutorial. See you.